Hey everyone, welcome to Jira service management tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to cover a few more important points about some of the more features that you can enable in your Jira service management cloud instance. So to enable more features basically we'll go to the project settings right. So if you go to project settings scroll down in the project wherever you are and go to project settings and in this particular project say for example we want to enable more features. So we have been looking at the project settings and I'll be going sequentially around the project settings so we have understood how you can update the details how you can add people in the particular project and then let's understand about the features. so if you go to features here you will see there are multiple other features okay so let me minimize this okay so you'll see that we have different work categories right so and and these are disabled at the moment so for example service request management if you want to enable a particular feature for example i want to also have service management feature i also want to have incident management simply what you have to do is you have to enable these extra features that are available so i'll toggle this button here and this particular service request management is now enabled now you'll see this particular pop-up right add request type to start using this category so here we can basically go ahead and add a request type to start using this or we can do it later so I'll simply say maybe later and I'll configure it later we'll understand more features here so for example we want to enable incident management as well simply toggle it okay and by just toggling you won't be able to use it right you have to configure it you have to configure the request type and then in the form so we'll understand all of that so let's say for example let's go for this one let's go to the add request type but before that okay let me show you when you enable these features if you, so if you scroll down you'll see that you have the problem management you have change management and you can enable any of these according to the use in the project or what your needs are right so you'll see some of the options for example similar request this was enabled already right so now let's go back and see how so if you go back from the project settings let's see if these services so you'll see service request and incident is now available here okay in the because we have enabled these features as well within this particular project so if i go to service request now right you will see different you know according to the priority you will see the service request and then similar to incident you will see the same sort of according to priority you will see the incident list here as well okay but at the moment these are not available so if we go to the channel right so go to the for example go to this help center and because we have enabled incident management and service request so how will the customer be able to submit those requests right so we have not added the separate you know like incident and the so this was the default fault request that was there but then we haven't added any service management request here in this particular list so if i show you the other group that we have added it's just a question so how we can make those enable for the customers right so that's the configuration that we have to look for as well okay so we'll where we'll go we'll go into the project settings again okay and go to the features and here we'll go to the request types okay so now you will see the incidents and request we simply go ahead and configure this because we have enabled okay so we'll go to the service request and it will take us to to the same page wherein we can assign a request type to a service request right so you will if you read here you will see that you need to customize to customize the types of service request for your project will use these will appear in your project navigation under service request okay so because we have enabled service request if we customize this then these requests will be available in the customer portal right in the project navigation under under service request and in the customer portal we have to add it into the portal request right so how we can do it we can add a request type to get started okay so we'll simply click on assign a request type or we can create a request type right so let's say what all request type we already have so at the moment if we simply go through let's say we go to the issue type right so you'll see these are the issue types that are available okay so ask a question request or incident email request right we don't want any of these so let's try to create a new request type so if i say create new request type and I'll simply say this is service request okay and then say service request 
I can change the icon. Okay, so let's click on change icon and then you have some icons there as well that you can choose. Okay, so say for example, let me choose any of the icon there. Okay, and then use workflow and fields from this issue type, right? So we have created a, a new request type with the service request that we will associate with the service request, but then which workflow and fields need to be chosen from which issue type, right? So we have to simply select that from this drop down and you can also create a new issue type altogether right but as of now i'll simply use the submit a request which is existing because this adding an issue type and the workflow modification is more of a jira administrator task so i'll just stick to project management level administration at this point so we'll simply submit uh, choose that particular existing one click on next and then we'll simply create a new group so for example okay or uh, we'll say service request all right because if somebody wants to raise a service request they will go to this service request group and then simply create it and you will see that this particular service request okay form is available right let me and if i go back and go to the preview you will see that's how the service request will be available okay with the summary and the name that we have provided okay if we go back here okay let's simply not to the group simply go to the portal and see that that particular field that we have added the sr field is actually available you will see the service request field is now available available and I can go to the service request and select the service request right click on the service request provide the details in the service request and then send that request now when we say for example this is first service request okay if I simply submit this okay and then click on send now this is the customer portal right so customer has sent the first service request that we have just made enabled and now it should be available where in the if you go back to the project under the service request section right so if you go to the service request here click on the service request right you will see that it is available this is first service request okay and you will see that in the open service request you will see that one is available i can simply filter so all service request by going to the service request and this is automatically available here okay so this is how you are going to configure it end to end right now the point here is not just to enable the feature after enable you have to do certain configuration for example for service request we have done all of these configuration now if we go back and let's try to do same thing for the incidents okay so we'll where we'll go we'll go to the project settings okay so let me go to the project settings and in the features okay we had enabled we had enabled incident management as well okay so now after enabling we have to configure it right so if I simply go ahead and disable and enable again okay you'll see that we have to add a request type right so we can directly go from here okay or we can simply go to the request type section here in the project settings okay so let's go back here so request types okay so we'll go to the request type and then here you'll see the incidents is available incident request type we'll go to the incidents in the work categories and from here we'll simply create a re request type or assign an existing request type so if i say this time let's assign a request type okay and we have to first find right so it's say for example we say incident okay it's not there let me so you'll see these are the requests that are available okay so somehow when i zoom in they are not if i go back i assign a request type zoom out a little you'll see that these are the request types that i can associate with the incidents okay now these adding these request types say for example i want to add another specific very specific incident request type with very specific field that is jira administrator task which i'll cover completely in a separate tutorial okay so i can simply select one request type there and i can continue the existing one okay and then confirm it so click on the confirm button and then the request has been assigned okay so we can simply go ahead and see the queue so cq where the request we have assigned with the incidents and you'll see the incidents queue here if i expand this section here you will see the incident queue if you go back to the project right and then we have to add this right so in the service portal this won't be available yet separately okay because we have just added that but we haven't added it in the portal so if you refresh this you will see that we have added the service request which is okay and we have other old requests but the new one that we added the complete you know new one the incident management if we want to add it separately 
we have to again configure this particular portal to configure it we'll go to the channels okay and then let's go to the help center okay the help center will open the, the same channel let's go to project settings and we'll go to the portal settings right so in the portal settings you can configure so we'll go to portal configuration and this is the portal that we want to configure to have another section that we just enabled incident management right and here go to project groups right portal groups and then we'll say another group we'll add this is a separate way that i'm telling you but there are multiple ways right so multiple paths wherein you can go ahead and configure same thing right so i'll simply say incident management and then we have to add a request form right so i'll simply say add a request form and we have to create or add this request right so you'll see we have service request and we have incidents and for incidents we have added the existing request type right so submit a request or incident which is part of this group anyway so i'll simply go ahead and click on this one right and that will save or when i click on save button it will add that section of incident management here okay so if i refresh this portal now you should be able to see the incident management section as well to submit the incident right so the customer will be able to see this section as well in the help center right if you go to the project rcb academy you will see that it is service request is available incident management is available okay so this is briefly how you are going to enable extra features that are available all right so let's go back to the project so we have enabled service request and incident similarly you can go ahead and work on the project settings so you simply have to go to the project settings and then from the project settings to enable new features simply go to the feature section okay and from the feature section what we have understood is we have understood enabling the service request management feature and then enabling incident management feature and making it available on the customer portal that is important right just not just enabling will help enabling will enable this feature but then you have to also add it or may make it available for customers to log that particular request right so for example if you want to work with the prob problem management or you want to enable problem management enable this and then you can add the specific request type and add it to the portal the customer portal to make it available here so you can segregate problem management request from incident management from service request management right so what i have done is first time i have went to through this add request type and then second time i have navigated through the project settings through the customer portal right so either ways the outcome will be exactly same you will be landing up in the into the same you know like the project settings okay so if you go back here you'll see that we have gone into the project settings first we have done is configure the request type then we have gone to the portal settings and configured it on the portal okay so that is all for this particular tutorial on how you are going to enable more features in your jira service management instance which is the cloud instance i hope this was helpful thank you very much for watching